welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC Data Doubler in a 15-inch MacBook Pro late 2008 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro in a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. Push down and lift on the lever to release the battery and hard drive cover. Now lift the cover and set it aside. Lift up on the pull tab to remove the battery and set it aside as well. Remove these four Phillips screws. Now remove these four Phillips screws. Lift the bottom of the MacBook Pro case and set it aside. The optical drive is located here. Disconnect the SATA connector by lifting it gently with your nylon pry tool until it comes free. Remove this small Phillips screw. Use your nylon pry tool to gently unstick this cable from the optical drive. Now remove this Phillips screw. The last Phillips screw we need to remove is here. Gently lift one edge using your nylon pry tool and slide the optical drive free of the MacBook Pro. Be sure not to snag on any wires as you do so. Remove the SATA connector from the old optical drive by gently pulling it free so that you can reuse it on the data doubler. Now remove these two Phillips screws so that we can reuse this bracket. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the Data Doubler like this. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. Use the larger black Phillips screws that came with the Data Doubler to secure the drive in place here. Now install the bracket you removed from the old optical drive onto the OWC data doubler using the same Phillips screws. Align the SATA connector and push it firmly into place. Slide the OWC data doubler in place making sure that the silver bracket is under the cables. Make sure also that the data doubler is laying flat. Push the SATA connector back into the slot on the motherboard. Replace this Phillips screw with the original screw you removed earlier. Use one of the silver Phillips screws that came with the OWC data doubler here. Make sure this wire is laying flat against the side of the data doubler. The residual adhesive should keep it in place. Replace this Phillips screw with one of the longer silver Phillips screws that came with the OWC data doubler. Align the bottom of the case and set it back into place. Reattach the eight Phillips screws here, making sure that the different length screws are in their proper location. Set the battery back in place. Finally, set the battery and hard drive cover in place and lock it in. Your OWC data doubler and second hard drive are now installed. Turn your MacBook Pro over and turn it on.